morning everyone how you all doing something a little different today um, which I'll show you in a minute I've been uh, after another van for quite a while now to convert into a camper and, uh, luckily I found one yesterday on the, on the old marketplace on Facebook and the chap kindly dropped it off for me last night and, uh, well I'll show you what it is I've done a couple of vans in the past the transits and a, and a T5 but I needed an extra extra high top van so I could actually stand up in it and this one came out yesterday quite cheap and a chap kindly dropped it off for me so I'm probably gonna video it for you lot to see See me doing the work in it in progress. Uh, it needs a lot of work doing to it. A lot of work. It's got, got some seats in the back. I've got to take all this out. Take all that out of there and put some beds in it. But uh, yeah, that's a. Uh, First of all, I'm going to give it a wash because it's absolutely filthy and it stinks. As all transits do, they stink. But this is it. I'll put some windows in it. I need to buy some windows. And yeah, well, I need a window on that side. Needs a lot of work. But, uh, I'll give it a quick wash now and see what it looks like. So, wish me luck with this one. And, uh, we'll see how it gets on, shall we? Well, this is going to take ages, so uh, I'll get back to you when I've finished it. It may be a while. The roof is absolutely filthy. It's green. So, uh, back to you in a minute. Right, well, that's the outside washed. It looks a bit better. At least the roof isn't green anymore. So all I do now is give it a machine polish. Make it a little bit better. Uh, this side's the worst. Sort of stupid stickers. Now I've got to take all this inside out. I just started unscrewing it. I've got to take out this shelf and uh, start sorting out what to do. So, uh, yeah. This side looks too bad actually. Better on the other side, but once I've machine polished it and touched it up, it'll look a million dollars. Back in the mouth. Right, that's the uh, shelf taken down inside. Now it's uh, got to take all these panels off. 
I've got to buy insulation, sound deadening pads. Right, get some uh, carpet. I've got to get some more of this stuff. Off the, uh, got to rip all that off. So I've got to put a window in that side. Got to put a window in the door. Got to tidy all this mess up down here. Get some new seats. But yeah, not bad for the first day. So uh, I'll keep the videos of all the work I'm doing so you can see how it goes. So I hope they won't, well, I hope they won't take too long. But I'm boiling now. Yeah, so uh, the next video you're going to see is me at uh, my local scrapyard, Harry Butlands, just checking out some old cars. Might be something interesting, might be not. But uh, see if you like it or not. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye. Just down the old scrapyard. And uh, there's three little beauties here, look. This is at my local Harry Button scrapyard. 71,000 miles. Decent there, look. Stop the rain. Oh, it's a bit screen. When I was younger, I used to have one of these on our driveway. Doors locked. Okay, come on. There's a hole in it. Yeah, that's uh, definitely rotten. Got the old Flintstones car in it, no floor in it. Maybe one of the bits off it. Is that Harry Butlin's scrapyard? Shame that. Split screen as well, look. Can't get a bonnet open. Nah, bonnet shut. Put a desperate next to it. Oh, holy floor as well, look. Looks like somebody's cut some sections out of it. I love looking around the old scrapyards. Got an old sab here. Don't see many of them around. Colour interior. Um, Hundred twenty six thousand miles. Shame. Let's see what else. Let's see what other old stuff we can find. It's a cool van. Nice little camper, that. 
cannot see the mileage. No. Oh, that wheels are cool. Yeah, put that out there. Nice. Cleaned up. Let's see what else we can find. Get all back to us. They're getting quite rare now. Eh? I had one of these a long time ago. Well, it's an estate, not a. It's a slew, not a estate. I oh, can't see the mileage. Digital. Funky interior. Bad at the motor. Looking quite rare now. Old Astra as well. This has been there quite a while, this one. Hard one, same. Exactly the same. About 20 years ago. All edges on it. Still some loads of good bits on it. It's not even that rusty. 71,000 miles. All that's a waste. Oh, that, yeah. We got another sab here, look. The old cream leather seats in it. Noise on this one. And then twenty three thousand miles. Yeah. Nice three spokes. Right, so what else are there, shall we? Peugeot four five estate. That's not bad condition either. Let's get that open. Let's see, it's not it. Not bad, apart from a few dents in the door. It's only got 89,000 miles on the top. What an absolute waste. Look, yeah, what an absolute waste. Still low mileage. Never polished up, but I'm looking right that well. Let's 
seen better days this one. 194,000 miles on the clock. Convertible Fiesta. Two thousand, probably hundred and forty two thousand. Good old engines though. Got an old uh, Mancia. P Res Lancia. Left hand drive. And two hundred and fifty two thousand miles. Wow. Why do we have bad for that mileage? Right. So as you can find, a little coarser. Hard one's actually in colours, eh? Old Astro Geo State behind it. That's what's left of it. Fiesta Mark II. On on the floor. Go on. No clocks, I can't tell you the mileage. Popular plus D reg. Good old cars then. No that's cool. Mark six, I believe. They're getting crushed soon. Oh, there's a fiesta. Two thousand miles. Yeah. There's some good bits on that. Get the engine out of it. Good body on that. Let's go. Look at that hard drive, huh? 56,000 miles. Funky seats. What shall it be like?
I was just uh, showing you a little tour of my uh, local Harry Butland scrapyard. Got some classy cars they got down here. Quite a few good cars actually. It's a shame to waste them. But, uh, never mind. So uh, yeah, it's not much of a video this week. I haven't had much time, so uh, I'll just see you soon.